Hi everyone and welcome to the first day of Whatever You want a -thon. So this is obviously going to be the first clip of my first whatever -thon vlog. I'm not completely sure how I'm going to do these vlogs. The plan originally was weekly but I have no trust that I'm going to read consistently throughout the weeks. So I'm kind of just going to vlog until I have enough clips and then make that a video and then start the next one is the very rough plan. It will likely be approximately weekly but who knows. But it is day one. Apologies I do not look presentable. Normally I try and look vaguely alive in a vlog, but I don't want to look presentable today. For anyone that doesn't know, I work an extremely intense job and this is my week off from work this week, so I have no intention of being in anything other than trackies and no makeup for the whole week because I just want to be exhausted. And so I'm leaning into that for the first day and I'm doing nothing but reading. I am technically doing a 24 hour readathon. I'm not because it's 11 a.m. and I've not started yet other than a tiny bit midnight for the kickoff because I just needed a good sleep. I've been so pooped the last few days. I was like, a good sleep's gonna be very useful right now. But I'm awake and I'm ready to read. The first book I'm going to be reading is Some Girls Do by Jennifer Duggan. I read like 25 pages last night. So just a teeny tiny little bit, but I'm loving it already. And I'm so, so, so excited to carry on with it. This is a YA contemporary LGBT kind of sapphic book and it follows a girl who's a track star and another girl who is a beauty queen and car mechanic and I'm assuming it'll be cute because Jennifer Duggan books are always adorable but always have a slightly darker side to them as well so there's either a character who acts really badly or like one of them really focuses on a codependent relationship and they're fascinating because of that. So this is the first book I'm going to be reading. Okay I actually just went and grabbed like my whole TBR so we can talk through my reading plans a bit. So this is the rest of my TBR. I'm hoping to finish Some Girls Do today. I don't see any reason I can't. It's a super quick read. I can probably read it in three or four hours. And then I kind of want to pick up more YA contemporary. So I'm probably going to pick up Heartstopper Volume 4 today because that will be a super quick read as well. And I really want to get as much read as I can today to make the most of my day off because I've got a lot of things on in the next week. I probably won't read either of these today, although I really want to read all of them. I think gonna leave them a bit longer just because I really want to read contemporary today. I might try and read one of them by the end of the week if I can, though I do have to read Winter's Orbit and Never Tilting World this week for live shows. So lots to read, but and Never Tilting World is here, Winter's Orbit is somewhere else. But the thing I'm really tempted to try and do today is knock out a couple of these. I always find these arcs super quick. They're always massive text, super quick read, super spaced out. They're also incredibly floppy paperbacks, so you can't really show up when you've got three of them, which is really just lovely. And I have all three of these from Harper 360, so thank you to them for sending me these three across. And they all release May, June, and obviously it's the first of June today. So I might just try and read one or two of these, honestly, and just whip through them. I feel like I definitely shouldn't because none of these are on my TBR and I should be prioritising my TBR. But I have also said I can switch books out for my TBR if I need to. So if, for example, I wanted to read one of these and then I didn't get to The Queen of Ea Floria, or I mean, actually, that's the only one I can take off my TBR, or You've Reached Sam, I could take off my TBR. So that is an ebook, so none of these would work for that either. I'll work it out, but basically, these are what I want to read today. These three books The Unpopular Vote, Meet Cute Diary, and Jay's Gay Agenda are massively appealing to me today, so I may try and read one of those, along with Some Girls Do and Heartstopper, and then over the next week I'll read Winter's Orbit and The Never Talking World, so a bit of fantasy mixed in, and then over the rest of the month I'll be reading these three and Saga, and You've Reached Sam. So life should be good. I'm very excited. I'm now going to go and read Some Girls Do, and I don't know how much I'm going to vlog today because I do just kind of want to sit in bed and read and not, like, think. Um, but I'm very happy, I'm so excited. Thank you again to the extraordinary number of you who have signed up. I think we hit 3.3 thousand people signed up today and we've tracked over 100 books in the first 12 hours. We're currently on 140 books, which is absolutely insane, but thoroughly exciting, to be honest. I can't believe it and I'm so excited about it. So yeah, thank you so much to every single one of you. Um, it's madness and if we actually read as much oh we've hit 3.4 thousand signups sorry god um but yeah if we read as much as we've all pledged we will be reading an incredible amount of books in this month which is really exciting so thank you um yeah i'm gonna go read i have sprints later it'll be fun hello so reading update it's like half past two oh it's half past three how did you think it was half past two i don't know 
Um, I look more tired than I did this morning. I'm so tired at the moment. But I am making very good progress in, I was gonna say hot dog girl. Some girls do, I'm on page 184 at like 320. So I'll definitely get this done today, though probably a bit later than I wanted to. It's just so good. The romance is so sweet and so slow burn. And Jennifer Duggan is doing her typical, which is why I love her books, of at least one, if not both of the main characters, are not great people. That's why I love her books. It's not, you know, your standard YA protagonist where it's a great person and you love them and, you know, whatever. It's like you want to root for these people because you can understand why they are the way they are and why they act how they do. But they're also kind of bad people. And I love that so much in her books. I find it fascinating to read and I'm really glad it's represented, especially with queer characters, because like, Sometimes queer people do stupid shit and do bad shit and it doesn't make you any less of a person. Like, it's just, we're human. We're human. We do not have to be perfect to get away with being queer. And I love it so much. And I'm going to go keep reading because I'm having a way of a time. And I'll definitely finish this tonight, possibly in sprints. And then I'll pick up probably Heartstopper and start something else. I don't know what yet, but I'll see how I'm feeling. I want to do more contemporary. I am concerned that I do need to get onto my two fantasy reads pretty soon but I'm gonna put them off as long as possible because that's what I like doing. So I'm gonna go read this. Hello, it is, I was gonna say it's Tuesday evening. I guess it's technically Wednesday morning now as it's half past midnight, but I've just done sprints. We got off a while ago and I just went on my phone and zoned out, but I have some reading updates. So when I was speaking to you earlier, I was reading Some Girls Do by Jennifer Duggan. I have now finished this. I loved it a whole lot. I think it's gonna be a four, not quite a five for me for no, determinable reason. It just didn't quite give me five star vibes. I'll try and speak about this a bit more in tomorrow's video because I'm absolutely knackered of tomorrow's video, tomorrow's clip, because I'm pooped right now and I want to go to bed. But I have finished this, which is really exciting. I then picked up Heartstopper volume four, which I've also read all of. Um, it's very quick Heartstopper, but this was adorable. Certain moments in this are just amazing. Right at the beginning was a really cute moment, like well, quite near the beginning, I guess. Actually, was it that near the beginning? No, it was like quite a way in actually. Yeah, it was about about there, it was a really cute moment, and then right at the end was an absolutely adorable moment. And I'm now reading Winter's Orbit by Everina Maxwell. Um, I'll show you the dust jacket. Winter's Orbit. I've only read a teeny tiny bit of this today. I'm only on page 26. I might try and read like another five pages before I go to sleep, though probably not more than that because I'm really tired. And yeah, I have a live show for this on Sunday, so I need to get it read which is quite exciting actually, because I keep putting it off, but I think I'm gonna love it. It's a difficult one at the moment, because I'm very, very tired when reading it and it really throws you straight in, no world building, no anything, lots of politics right from the off. And I don't always vibe well with politics in books and um, especially not with a lot of explanations so I know what was going on. So finding it a tough one to start, but I already really like our main character. So that's gonna carry me through, I think. But that's where we're at. Pretty successful first day of whatever thon, reading two full books, even though one is a graphic novel. Hopefully I'll get this finished by the end of the week. And then we're off to a pretty, pretty good start for the month, to be honest. I would like to do more than that, but I doubt I will because I'm not going to say too much. Actually, I can say too much because you guys will have seen it, but I have some friends visiting me on Friday and you will have all seen this before you see this vlog, but I am so excited and I cannot wait and I can't believe that it's happening. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna read from Friday till Sunday because I have friends over. So I only have tomorrow and Thursday to read and I have a lot of content to make. So lots of reading, lots of content, we'll see. But yeah, phenomenal start to the readathon. And oh my God, we've had what, 700 odd books read in the first day? And we have over three and a half thousand people signed up now. So that's stupid, to say the least, but in a good way. So madness, but exciting. I'm gonna go to bed now, I'll update you tomorrow. Hello, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I've never done an outdoor vlog update before. Maybe way too much background noise because it's quite Hubble Bee in the middle of a city. But it is, God, what day is it? Wednesday. And I have made the best decision I've ever made. I was meant to get up really early and wash my hair and get ready and film loads of videos and edit loads of videos, specifically because I needed one going up today and I need my content ready for the rest of June. And I've just decided not to. It's my week off. I'm so tired and so in need of a break. So I have set up on my balcony, got my big cushions and sat on a big cushion, got my book, got my speaker. 
I've got a drink. I've been sat out here for a couple hours already. It's like 1 p.m. at the moment. And I'm just chilling and reading and not doing anything. And I'll probably film some content this afternoon. I'll probably film and edit tomorrow because um, I do want to have content through June and I won't be home a lot. So if I don't film it in the next couple of days, then it won't happen. But I just, I needed a break. And so I've taken a break and I feel so good. And I'm very proud of myself. I'm not good at taking breaks at all. Um, I hadn't planned to take a break all week, but I have, and it feels really great. So day two of Whateverthon is also off to a fantastic start. I'm just chilling. Um, I'm still reading Winter's Orbit. I'm making progress, slowly. I'm up to page 89, so almost a quarter of the way through. I really need to get at least halfway through this today, which I think I can do, um, because I need to finish it tomorrow. And I am enjoying it. I feel like the word I have for it at the moment is just like slightly mediocre. It's not doing a huge amount for me. I feel like given we're 100 pages in, not a lot's happening. I, we're gradually getting to know the main two characters, both of whom I do really like. But I just, I feel like the only strong feeling I have for this book at the moment is I really want to just take the two main characters' heads and just knock them together because the two of them just need to have a bloody conversation. It is the epitome of miscommunication. It's so so frustrating because they are both so unbelievably on the same page and convincing themselves more and more that they're not and it's really annoying and I am enjoying seeing their relationship kind of come together and I'm enjoying to see them like kind of start to get to know each other that's all really interesting but god almighty you can just smash their heads together so you can get their act together and actually talk to each other I'd really appreciate it because it's really frustrating me um but yeah so that's my only kind of strong thought at the moment it's all right it's nicely written it's interesting I feel like the thing I'm finding um, is I don't really care that it's sci-fi. Normally when I'm reading fantasy or sci-fi I quite enjoy finding out about the world or this or that but I am more than ever character driven in why I like reading and I'm finding that more than ever with this book like this could be a contemporary setting, this could be a sci-fi setting, this could be anything and I wouldn't really care because I'm only interested in the characters. The setting itself and the politics has not grabbed my attention. I mean politics never normally does so that's not overly surprising but yeah that's where we're at. I'm on chapter seven I'm going to try and get to like page 110 or something before I eat some lunch, eat some lunch, and then probably come back out here and continue reading. I have until about 6pm is the cutoff when I can stop filming because of the light in my flat. So I've got another four and a half hours, so I read until like three. I can then bash out two or three videos between three and six before the light gets a problem, and that should be fine. So there won't be a video going up today, but I've already done two live shows this week. I've got another one coming this week, and I will have a video on both Friday and Saturday this week, probably. So I feel like there's there's plenty of content going on. I did want to do a video today because I wanted to do my booktube birthday tag, because yesterday is my booktube birthday. But that is fine. I will film it this afternoon, and it can just go up on a different day. And who knows? Maybe I'll have a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday upload this week. Maybe I'll rearrange it again. I don't know. I just and relaxing and breathing and having a darn good time and I'm also going to show you the view because it's it's really nice so this is my little setup where I've been sat reading I've got a big like foam thing on the floor which is actually here for when my friends come later in the week for them to sleep on because I only have a double bed and a sofa and so we'll see how it works if we can get everyone on those we will if not we've got some bedding that's not the point that's my little setup and then this is the courtyard by my flat and then we pan up and we have my view, which is really quite nice, to be honest. There we go. It's a very, very, very nice day today. Can't complain at all. Hello, so this is the thoroughly attractive angle that you're getting an update from because I really can't be bothered to sit up because I'm comfy. I'm still on my balcony. It's almost 6 p.m. I've been here for like seven hours. The weather is taking a turn for the worst. I think it's gonna start raining very soon, so I might have to cave and go inside, but I'm gonna go with it for now. And it's not been the best day. I have not read nearly as much of this as I want to, but I'll talk more about that in a second. But I'm not giving up yet, it's only 6 p.m. There's still plenty of time to do some more reading. I have not done any filming, any YouTube, any anything. I just decided to take the day off. Um, which I think was a good idea and is a good idea but I did spend like three hours in the middle of the day feeling really stressed about it and like I should just do the work so questionable in how good that was in terms of taking a break because I'm not very good at taking breaks like I think I said earlier so it did cause me quite a lot of stress um, but it's fine I can get everything that I need to get done tomorrow and I'm just trying to remind myself of that I need to get up at like eight nine ten somewhere there 
film all the way till two, get like the four or five videos I need to film filmed back to back before I have to go out at two, just before two, so I'll have to start about nine. And then I should be back around about half four, I would imagine, maybe five at a push. And then when I'm back, I'm just gonna edit like three of them and then the other one, edit the other one Friday morning before I have my very exciting friends coming over. So it's possible. I think it's better to get this book out of the way today because I'm struggling with it and I don't wanna leave it closer to the deadline, not gonna done. And then have a stressful few days of filming. But yeah, it's been, it's been a bit of an odd day, but Winter's Orbit by Everina Maxwell. Update on this, I am enjoying it more. I'm still struggling with it. I'm 150-ish pages in now, so I've not read very much more. I'm finding it really slow to get through, partially because I'm in a massive slump with fantasy at the moment. But I'm about 150 pages in. I'm really liking the two main characters, but I am finding it odd that like it's very slow, it's very slow burn, not a lot's happening. And like we're still barely developing their relationship. We're just starting to develop it a tiny bit, and I wish that was happening more and faster. And yeah, those people said like, it's really quick, it's really fun. And I'm like, I just don't see it. Like not a lot has happened to the first 150 pages. And considering it's a standalone and only just over 400 pages, I'm like, what is going to happen in this book? Because nothing's happened so far. And I still don't care about the politics at all. And I don't understand half the politics. Politics are not my thing. Um, so I just really want a Sweeney romance. And I feel like we're getting there. It's just being very slow to get there. So I'm gonna keep reading. My ultimate goal would be to finish this tonight, which is like another five hours of reading, which is obviously quite a lot, because I think 50 pages an hour is like the maximum I can do with this kind of book. But if I can get to page 300, I'd be pretty happy. I'd like to get further than that. But if I can do another 150, I'd be really happy with that, I think, because it's a struggle. And then I may pick up a YA contemporary alongside it to keep me going, because it's a struggle. But yes, I think that's it for the update. I'm gonna go back to reading. And speak to you in a bit and see if I get rained off my balcony. Hello, quick update. This is getting ridiculous now. It's now quarter to ten um, and I'm still on my balcony. As you can see, I'm really determined to stay out here as long as possible. I'm actually still in a t-shirt. I'm about to get a bit cold and maybe get a jumper, but the fact that it's almost 10 p.m. in the UK and it's still warm enough to be outside on my balcony is just fantastic. As you can probably kind of see, I have had to put one of my big filming lights on inside my flat pointing out the window so I can keep reading so it's getting a little bit dark but I'm on page 260 of this as I said I'm going to try and get to page 300 I think well maybe 303 because that's where my chapter break is and then I'm going to stop with this one for tonight and I'm going to switch to a YA contemporary because I'm really losing the will to live with this not because I'm just liking it it's just it's a lot and it's very slow so it's a bit of a slog and I don't think I can do another 200 pages tonight or 150 so I'll try and do like 50 if I'm suddenly loving it, I'll keep going, but I don't anticipate that happening. And then I'm going to pick up a YA contemporary because I want to. And I should have plenty of time to finish this, like a bit tomorrow evening, though I don't have a lot of spare time tomorrow actually at all. Maybe a little bit Friday morning before my friends arrive. And then I do have Sunday afternoon as well because my friends are leaving at around about three and I don't have the live show until about six. So that should be absolutely fine and dandy. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? I don't know. I'm enjoying it slightly more. Um, the characters actually spoke to each other, which is a freaking revelation at this point. But it is infuriating that they're just not speaking and it's getting really political and really like investigation-y and all I really care about is the romance and there's not that much of that. It was really sold to me as like a big focus on the romance and I don't feel like it has had that, which is a shame because that's what I wanted. But it's okay. I'm enjoying it. I'm having an overall fantastic day just chilling outside on my balcony being stupid there's no reason for me to be out here but it's just a laugh and i think i'm probably going to pick up jay's gay agenda as a contemporary I read i think because i want to and it looks cute as hell and it's it'll be super quick and honestly i wouldn't be surprised if i read most of it tonight before i go to bed and end up getting a bit of a late night um especially as if i can safely say this in this video my subscriber count is currently on 8,986 and I really want to see it tick over to 9k because it's exciting um, but it's been really slow so it's probably gonna be sometime in the middle of the night and if I'm not careful I'm gonna be staying up till like 4am to watch it so I may as well read as we're gonna be awake anyway um, ignoring the fact I had to get up at 8am to film tomorrow might be a bit tired tomorrow it's fine but yeah this one I'm, st I'm just I just don't care 
at all, which is a shame considering how much I do like the main character in many ways. But overall, I just don't care. And I'd quite happily stop reading it. Ooh, hubbub. I still don't know if you can actually hear any of these updates, but I'm not going inside because <laughs> no good reason to be honest. Because I like it out here, that's the only reason. Okay, so I'm getting a bit like anxious starting to do updates outdoors because it's late and I feel bad being loud, but it's 10 to 11. I've read, I've taken the book inside now, I've read practically no more of Winter's Orbit. I've just hit a wall with it for the day, so I am calling it a day on that. We're done. I've got 140 pages left, which should be okay to finish off over the next couple of days for Sunday. But therefore, I'm going to pick up Jay's Gay Agenda quickly. It is 300 and pages? 350 exactly, but actually more on a page than some, um, but it should be pretty quick and it's so floppy. So I'm going to give this a start. I'm... <laughs> I'm making good life decisions today. Um, so I've been obviously on my balcony all day, chilling. And it's really peaceful out here. Um, and it's really warm because it's summer and I've checked the weather and the coldest it's gonna get all night is 16 degrees, which is like really warm. Um, so I'm gonna sleep out here. I've got like a little mattress. I've got a spare duvet because I've got friends coming got like these big pillows or I've got my pillows from my bed and I'm on the sixth floor like it's completely safe I'll just push my flat kind of balcony door kind of half closed so that I can obviously get in and out of the flat like I can't see any reason not to and it sounds like it would be funny so I'm gonna sleep out here which is possibly not the epitome move impulse control but it's gonna be a giggle so I'm gonna sleep out here tonight kind of feels like camping but I don't obviously have a tent or anything. If it rains I'm screwed but the weather does say it shouldn't rain. So I'm gonna read a bit <laughs> I'm gonna sleep on my balcony because <laughs> I'm stupid. I don't know it just sounds funny so why the hell not but this will probably be the last of the day of the night I'd imagine because it's quite late but we'll see. My subscriber count I'm gonna just update you all even though you this doesn't matter to anyone else. It's probably on 8991, so nine to go, which should happen in the next few hours. I really hope. Hello, quick update. It is the next day. It is Thursday. I am reading Jay's Gay Agenda. I'm loving it. I do need to pick up Winter Sorbet again, but I don't want to right now. I'm on page 88. I didn't really read any of this last night, but I've been reading quite a bit this morning. I read like 70 pages before getting up, and I've just read another little bit and thought I'd update you. I can't get over how floppy this is. This is one of the floppiest books I've ever owned and I'm just obsessed with it. But this is fantastic. I love it a whole ton. It is YA, LGBT, it is so sex positive. Jay is kind of me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, like I relate to him in many, many, many ways in the slight chaos and the list making, the bloody list making, God and making like a checklist of things they want to do in their life. I did this as a teenager, quite literally, and I'm loving seeing someone else do it. Um, it's adorable, Jay's adorable. Um, the love interest is adorable. It's just, it's so good so far. It's so positive, it's so fast paced. I feel like Jay's like thought process is really like fast and snappy, which I really like, and it's really interesting to read. However, he is about to make a decision I really wish he wouldn't um, and get himself stuck in a hole, which is kind of a trope I don't like when people talk themselves into holes and how to get themselves out of it because I can just tell it's going to get really messy and then it'll work out. And like, also, I just really like him and I'm just like, don't do it. Don't, don't, you're going to regret this. Don't do it. But he's doing it. So I'm going to keep reading whilst I eat some lunch before I fill my dart throw to my Patreon, hence dart attack being out. Um, I love it though. It's really good so far really really good so far and I can't wait to keep reading and it's going to take all of my self-restraint to pick up Winter Sorbet instead of just keeping to read this because I really just want to keep reading this. It is Friday, it's my birthday, I've been filming and editing like a mad person trying to get stuff done because that's not my phone, my phone's somewhere. In about 10 minutes Ro is arriving and about 20 minutes after that Spoops is arriving we're meant to be going out for drinks at half eight. Um, everyone's arriving later than planned. Ro hit a lot of traffic on her drive and Spoops' train was being stupid. They both should already be here, um, but it's not happened yet. They should have, Ro should have been here an hour ago and Spoops should have been here about now, actually. So fingers crossed, we can still make our booking at half eight, but mm, in like five minutes, I'm gonna have Ro and Spoops in my flat. Well, almost, close, not far off. And I'm so excited. Oh my God, I can't believe it. 
But yes, that's very quick update because I need to go put shoes on and go find Ro because she needs to find the car park in my building, which is an absolute pain. Um, hmm, so exciting. Oh my God, I'm sure there'll be many vlog clips to come, but I'm very hyped right now. Hello. <laughs> Where are you all? <laughs> Why are we? What's up? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Because oh my god! We was in a rush. And you we can just listen to Spoops. To a, it. We went to a bar, um, <laughs> and we was the time I did my makeup on the train. All bar one, or the other one. And be at one. Be at one. Same and thing. Be at one. And yeah, now we're at home, and there's Ro. Not seeing it. There we go. Um, and I forgot to vlog anything, so we, we did not do a good job of this. I can't get all three of us in. We're sat really stupidly. I'm not vlogging because I can't be asked. It's a ah! dart attack. It is. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> in the flesh. I can't be asked to take it down. It just chills there. There's a row. So here we are. This is Maddie's flat. It is my flat. Oh, we're just chilling. <laughs> I was gonna take a video of the. Big Hello. Um, you saw the chaos of yesterday. That was not a good introduction. But look who we have. Oh, Rose appearing. We have a row in a spoon. <laughs> it's. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's Saturday. It is. Saturday, yeah. maybe? Yeah. Ish. Um, ish. <laughs> ish. It's kind Saturday. Of Saturday. Like that. <laughs> um, we have our own spoops. We had a good time last night. I don't know. I hate vlogging in front of people. I find this so <laughs> weird. I don't know how you do it. I was just like, Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad at it. It makes me so awkward. I'm like, Oh, no, filming people. I think it's because I film in front of Brad all the time. It's, yeah. If my mum comes near me, I'm like, mm -mm, No <laughs> longer <laughs> filming. Go away. <laughs> But yes, Rose Peeps are here. We are gonna go explore Birmingham and have a good day. Mm -hmm. And then we have the dart attack sprints this evening, <gasps> which I'm so excited for. It's gonna be absolute fucking chaos. And it's gonna be amazing. It is. And we're gonna have the best time. Yeah, it's gonna be funny. And funny. I need to make sure I have my camera set up at my computer screen for when you guys walk in, because the comments are gonna be fucking <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> I hope yeah. people are just gonna freak. I yeah. hope people freak. We hope so. If people are just like, oh. <laughs> I mean, we've told India and Steph and they've both freaked out. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a good sign. Like, yeah, it's a good sign. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be so. I just. It's me! We're actually in the same place! It's so weird! Just like looking at a camera, I'm like, this is. What the we're, fuck? We're, what the fuck? Literally, I'm literally like right in front of you right now. You're <laughs> just straddling me. <laughs> Just, I mean, Brad and Draw, they're gone. It's fine. It's me now. I'm the new one. It's so <laughs> weird because, like, we've been friends actually for like over, well, almost just, a year. Yeah, yeah, nearly a year. And we obviously couldn't meet because pandemic. pandemic. <laughs> Which is probably the reason we all started our channel. Yeah. <laughs> right, lockdown. What else the fuck we gonna do? Oh, yeah, we're here. We had lots of fun yesterday. We just you didn't see any of it. You, you saw a two minute clip, and there's a clip in yours where I run for my dough balls, and I think that's about it. <laughs> so we tried. And Ro is not vlogging. Ro is relying on us to vlog. I can't be asked. Ro can't be bothered. <laughs> it's valid. <laughs> there's gonna be, I don't want three, there's gonna be two, I can just watch them. Exactly. I think I was going on the same day as well. Yeah. Unintentionally coordinated. Wednesday. Wednesday. I love how I'm saying, like, go watch it. You're, you're already watching it. <laughs> I forget how time works with vlogging. <laughs> Right, this is just shit chat now. Bye, we'll show you Birmingham. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I have so much respect for you, Spoops. <laughs> this is like the middle area. And the, 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 the center. And the side. It's a library. It's huge. Uh, I've been inspired by Spoops. We're doing the first oh, ever outdoor vlog she clip. She's tiny. Look at her. <laughs> Ro and I are like almost the same height. Yeah. And then there's Spoops down here. <laughs> and she's so cute and tiny. But yes, as you saw, we were in central Birmingham doing a bit of a walking tour of Birmingham. Because Spoops has never been here, even though Ro has lived here. Oh, yes, yeah. we're going to go. Here. I'm new <laughs> and ready. Tourist. Ready. <laughs> and we're going to go out to Waterstones, go yeah. get pizza. Mm. It's going to be a good time. We'll see you there. See you later. <laughs> Hello, so Spoops is going to do my makeup and I'm excited. We all know Spoops has the most amazing makeup at all times and I can't do makeup for shit. 
So to speak, she she's going to make me into an e-girl? She wants to become an e-girl. I'm not going to lie, I might, before we do this, I might go put my like high neck stripy tough on. So I'm not going to put on over the makeup, yeah. but I feel like that's going to be the vibe. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> we did it, guys. <laughs> I'm so she's scared. She hasn't seen it yet, so I've this is her anything, first time. And I'm scared. <gasps> Holy shit, Snoops! Oh my god, wait, hair, hair. Hair, hair, hair. Holy fuck, shall I take it? I feel like. <gasps> fuck! <Light that up. gasps> Holy shit! Oh, I need to learn how to do makeup. Fuck! George was like, snog my red void. <laughs> it looks so weird, but kind of cool. Okay, the lashes and the eyeliner I am so fucking here for. <laughs> Still so not convinced good. pink is my colour, though I love it. It yeah. looks sick. I'm like, day to day, would I do pink? No, because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of pink. Holy shit. If people don't figure out who's going to be on fucking sprints, they're so stupid. That is such, that is such, my, like, that is my, my signature. I've yeah, just put it this on is her literally face. just spoops. <laughs> and I love it. I am down for being spoops. Holy shit. I like the eyebrows as well. Do you like them? I, I need to learn to do makeup. <laughs> I mean, the brows like, look, the brows are what I want my brows to look like always. I, I can just I never followed, get it to do. I just followed your natural brow line. Yeah, but like, I just have like, them. make them really dense in the middle and I can't work out how not to. <laughs> <gasps> Holy fuck. Yay! <laughs> this is mad. I'm gonna Bro, go do you want like... some makeup? <laughs> you... so, okay. after, <laughs> after having done my makeup, Spoops is now doing Rose. We've, we're, we're all gonna be kind of matching. Other than Spoops, who doesn't have her own signature look on today. Because mm. she got purple and yellow. Which also looks incredible, of I course. That. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. That is fucking sharp. Bang. Hey. Da -da -da. Just like, yeah, right. Don't know what the fuck's going on. Well, you're so dramatic in this picture. <laughs> Let's see. Who are you looking at? <laughs> I just oh, imagine. Fashion. Match. It's fashion. You better bitch. send us all of these. I shall. Oh, need them all. But going. we're vlogging. Oh, I <laughs> did. You're oh. never aware that we're filming. I don't film. <laughs> Who films? Hello. I am still dying at this. I'm obsessed. But it's what, 20 minutes until we're doing dart sprints where we're gonna reveal that these two are here. Because no one other than Steph and India currently knows. You guys better freak out or I'm gonna be very disappointed. Because <laughs> I'm so excited be like, for it. Oh, like, oh that's fun. Okay. Oh, that's but, yeah. fun. <laughs> we're, having a, we're having a good time. We're having a good time. I have no idea what we're doing after dart sprints. I don't know how long we're doing that. It's probably the same thing we did last night and just chat. Chat. <laughs> it's it's so way too late. <laughs> it's good fun though. I'm just still not over this being a thing. It's real <laughs> life. It's it's not. It's icon. Iconic. Oh, it's, it's icon. It's, 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 it's icon. icon. <laughs> it's oh I feel like I don't fucking know. I think I am taller than you. You are taller, but it's you're not, not five foot nine. Yeah, I am five I'm foot nine. Right. I have a tape measure. Right, we're tape measuring this on the film. We are settling it on the vlogs because I have a full out tape. Spooks is small, we know that much. Yeah, Spooks is just if small. If I stand here, it doesn't look like I'm small. Yeah. <laughs> We're the same height. Right. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, that was this a loud is three meters. So. Okay. Right. right. How tall is Do I just right? like step stand on, on it? <laughs> Try it. Oh my god. god. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't mean to look over that side. Alright, hang on. Get your foot on it. My foot is not big I'll enough. I'll hold it. Wait, let me put my toe on it. Okay. There we go. Right. Yeah, like 170, which is 6 foot 7. 6 foot 7, 5 foot 7. Because I'm 167 and I'm 5'6. Well, oh no, I look tiny, no. <laughs> yeah, you're like 157? Yeah, 157. You're like, I'm trying to do perspective. Oh, right, yeah. Because I'll stay shorter. I would say you're about one, 170. I'm 167 inch. 170. <laughs> that was on you. <laughs> we got it. It's I'm fine. not holding the tape. It's measure. fine. Life is fine. But yes, bro is. I can't, I can't convert centimeters to foot in my head. So. I will do it. I'm only doing it on maths. Um, proximity to mine. But I think 170 is maybe, maybe 5A. Oh, I'm only an inch off then. Oh no, 170 is 5 foot 6.9. It's not even 5'7. <laughs> But that could make yeah. me not 5'6 and I'm 167. Wait, what? I'm gonna measure you now. That's as I'm 5'5. Five five. Fuck off! Because I'm 167, which has always been. 5'5. Five five. Conversions, 5'5. Five five. Wait, no, but that's. 167. Is it Google? 
Are you it's guys? Metric. It's five point five feet, not five foot five inches. Oh, five point five feet. Yeah. Right, which is not the same thing. So yes, yeah, so you're about yeah, you're like five seven, verging five eight, and I'm like upper five six. Oh, so I was five point six nine feet. I'm so confused. <laughs> Help! Help us all! I feel like you're all saying that it's bad to be short. Because you're all arguing that you're taller. Okay, 5'7 is 170, so you're like 5'7. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm so confused. There's this place in Cardiff called TechniQuest, <laughs> and it's a science museum. And me and Jordan went on the measuring thing, we're both exactly the same height, which was 5'9. And I'm just like, well, this I is I feel like life. you're 5'9 in the Maybe way that people on Tinder say that they're 5'9. Maybe it was 5'7, <gasps> I'm misremembering. I feel like it might be. Because I'm 5'6 and you're, you're not you're not 3 inches. We can't we see can't. it in there, but... <laughs> Shuffle. She ain't, she ain't 3 inches. Spoons! <laughs> She's our small GF. That's so bad. Yeah. Oh my god, we're like a family. So small. I'm your adopted daughter. <laughs> I thought you were adopted dog. 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 <laughs> Please give okay. me a home. This is now... <laughs> okay, this is now just four minutes of absolute bullshit. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, one minute. Okay. Brad's in the comments. Oh, is he? Hello, at Scooby Hole, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> oh my god, I can't see him yet, he's not coming through on mine. Okay, let's set my camera going. Unless it already is. It already is! That's fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Right, you guys are gonna have to be quiet, because if you. Not because they'll hear you, but because if you say something, I'll be like, what? And I will give it away in an instant. Okay, we're going live. You guys ready? Mm hmm. Yeah. Let's go. Are you getting a book published? I am absolutely not getting a book published. Oh my god, no. Not even close. Oh my god. But, are we ready for the surprise? I'm gonna wait for comments to come through to say you're ready for the surprise and then I will go and get it. And yes, there is suspense. Like, <laughs> you're not ready. You're not ready. Okay. Are people ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get the surprise, okay? friends coming for the weekend and I had a good birthday planned because this was my birthday. <laughs> I did Maddie's makeup. Yeah, all of you say my makeup looks nice. Guys, you know I can't do makeup. I look like spoops right now. This is all spoops. I made her do my makeup because I'm obsessed and I'm also kind of obsessed with how I look and now I want to learn how to do makeup. And also, yes. <laughs> I'm shaking. I've been so excited. We've now I told. get the makeup! <laughs> <laughs> not told! Where is... <laughs> that was slow lolling. We're on sprints! We yeah. did the surprise, it went well, we're having a good time. We're not, we're not reading. We're not gonna read. Everyone was like, you're not gonna read. I'm like, no, we're not gonna read. But it's fine, we'll just chat. You guys can sprint. Maybe we'll do like one or two and then we'll be like, oh, maybe we can pick up our books. But I also don't see that happening. So we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. It's fine. <laughs> But we're sprinting, and we're all here, and I'm still not over it. <laughs> Hello, it's Sunday. So I never know what day of the week it is. It's Sunday. We have a spoops. We have a row there. <laughs> Hi. Spoops has done my makeup again. In case you can't tell, I still can't do this. <laughs> and we're about to film. About to do lots of filming. Yeah. Get like a main channel video for each of us. Which yeah. is gonna be fun. Yeah. Gonna have fun. I'm what hard. are we? What are we filming? We're filming, for my channel, we're doing, um, you guys are going to read out one star reviews of my favourite books, yeah. and I'm going to try and guess which books they are. And not get wildly hurt. In the <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. Really... I'll get mad, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> for yours, we are doing... First Sentence Challenge? First Sentence Challenge. Yeah. And then are we doing Gav's question? Doing Gav's Gav questions. Gav made a tag for us, yeah. and it's the fucking cutest thing. What's it called? Spook's Browsing Worlds. <laughs> Spook's Browsing Worlds tag. Um, 
with like 10 questions for us to answer, so we're gonna do that yeah. on your channel. It's gonna be chill and cute. It's gonna be really cute. <laughs> Very cute. Yours is gonna be anger. <laughs> I feel like it's quite appropriate that it's shade, cute, and competitive. Yeah. <laughs> this feels right. Yeah. <laughs> We've done this all. Right. But on that note, we need to get filming because these guys are leaving in like 300 hours. No. No. It's not okay. No. It's not. Oh it's fine. They're just it's staying. Not okay. It's fine. <laughs> so, Rose leaving. And we forgot to bring cameras and films, and Spoops is here. We're about I to walk to the train forgot. station. Spoops <laughs> has her camera. But Rose leaving, and then we're going to the train station for Spoops, and it's really, really fucking sad. And it none is. of us are okay with this fact. No. <laughs> we're very, very sad. Also, wait, Rose, can you show your phone? Because yeah, we failed to we failed to show this, but we've all. Where is it? I can't see where I'm pointing. There okay. we go. There hey, we go. Mine's the same. We've all done it, and it's too fucking cute, and I'm not okay. <laughs> But there we go. That's it. I'll vlog more later, but they're going. Bye. Bye. Hello. So, as you can see, I don't think I mentioned this earlier. I don't think I vlogged today. I have no idea. But Spoops has done my makeup again. We're looking great. I have just dropped Spoops off at the train station. It's 3 p.m. I'm really sad. I'm here on my own now and I'm gutted. But we're back and I did get Mackie's on the way home. So I'm out on my balcony again, my new favorite spot. Got my Mackies, I'm gonna eat for a minute because I'm really hungry, not eating yet today. And then I have two books on the go still. The live show for this has now been moved back, but I think I'm still gonna try and finish the last 100 pages I've got today. Because if I don't, then I'm gonna DNF it because it's just not interesting me. So I need to get it done so that like it's done. And then this evening on sprints, I can hopefully just reach Gay's Day Agenda, get this finished, have a good time. I think it's the plan. I'd love to get something else done this week, but I doubt I will. But I'm gonna go eat right now, and then I'll give you proper updates on both those books in a bit when I've read a little bit more. Hello, so it's been a few hours since I updated you. It is now 20 past 12. That's later than I thought it was. Oh well, not in the end of the world. I'm about to go to bed. And I just thought I'd do a quick update to kind of round out this vlog, because it is, I guess, Monday morning now. I was gonna say Sunday evening. I've just got off World Everthon Sprints with Izzy from Izzy's Book Journey, and that's over on Instagram, and Christy from Christy Reads. Obviously, they'll both be linked down below. I'll try and link everyone I've been on sprints and stuff this week in the description, but if not, you can always go to the Whatever Thon Sprints playlist and they'll all be linked in the descriptions of the ones they were on, so you can find them all. But I just thought I'd do a quick reading update. So I did finish Jay's Gay Agenda. I'm giving this like a four. It was really cute, it was really fun. I do think there's a couple points to critique the whole, it's weird. I really like seeing characters screw up and I really enjoy it, especially in YA, seeing people be kind of shitty and then learn from it. But I think this one frustrated me because the main character knew he was being shit the whole way through. And then when he got caught out, he was like, oh my God. And I was like, you literally voiced in your internal monologue, like, oh, I know I shouldn't do this, but it's kind of okay. So it was a little bit annoying, but overall, I think actually seeing him justify it to himself the whole way through and then get caught out at the end was actually quite interesting. So didn't hate it. Overall, four star, really fun, really cute. Big fan, would recommend you read it when it comes out. I think it's already out in the US and it comes out in like a few weeks in the UK, so. I'd recommend it. Really cute, fun way, contemporary, good one. I also finished Winter's Orbit. Um, slightly different opinion on this one. I didn't like it. It just bored me. I really wanted to love this. I went in thinking this would be one of my new favourite books and I just was bored. The relationship annoyed me with the miscommunication, the politics. I'm not big on politics really ever, but this one really, I just didn't get it. I couldn't follow it. We were explaining so much so fast. I just didn't know what was going on and I really didn't care. I ended up skimming past the politics in an attempt to at least like the relationship and the characters, but even that, there wasn't a lot of it and I didn't really care and the characters were kind of annoying other than the main character, Kiam, who I really liked. Um, Jainan slightly annoyed me, to be honest. I understand the reason for the way he was written and I understand the reason for the things he said, but overall it annoyed me more than I appreciated it. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna rate this, but not big on it, but it's a shame. Most people love it. Most people think it's a really fun, really quick read. I found it an absolute slog and kind of boring. So I wouldn't personally recommend it, but I know a lot of people love it. So give it a go if you want to. But that is it. So I guess wrap up for the week. These are the four books that I have read since Waterathon started on Tuesday, which is kind of insane and kind of awesome. In terms of stats for Everthon, we have hit over 6,000 books read in the first six days, which is incredible. We've obviously had loads of amazing sprints this week with like huge turnout to them. So thank you so much to everyone who's tuned in and is taking part. It's amazing to see I'm having the best time. Obviously I've had a fantastic birthday and weekend with, I realized I don't think I even said it was my birthday at any point in any of the clips. Cause I was just excited about seeing Spoops and Row. 
but I've had a great birthday, I've had a great booktube anniversary on Tuesday, I got to see Spoops and Bro and I had an amazing weekend with them, I've read four books, like whatever thon's gone mad. It's been a very very good week off from work, though a little bit exhausting, I didn't really do the whole good job of having a break, but that's fine. Um, this is the end of the vlog though, because it's Monday, so I'll start the next vlog. I am not saying I'm doing weekly vlogging, I'm gonna try but it may well not be consistent, but I will try and vlog throughout the month and I will put some of the videos up from throughout the rest of the month. But I don't know when they'll be. It may be one more at the end, it might be weekly, it might be every other week, we'll see how it goes. But yes, first week of Webathon done, very successful. I am a third of the way through my goal, which is really cool. Um, I don't know when I'll read the other eight books because I'm very busy for the next three weeks, but I'll do what I can, should be a laugh. But yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more bookish content from me. Links below to obviously all the Whatever-thon stuff, as well as my other social media, my Patreon, my wishlist, all of that malarkey. Check it out if you want to. Please check out all of the people linked in the description. There are so many people who've been involved in pulling off this first week of Whatever-thon, and they'll be even more involved before the end of the month. So please check them all out. I am hugely appreciative to every single one of them, be it the hosts, be it other people. They're saving my life. So thank you to all of them. But that's it for the video. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.